Hey everyone, this is John from Bearable Traders and I want to review my best and worst trade from 23 April 2021. As always, if you could like this video or subscribe to this channel or drop a comment, that's always appreciated. My best trade today was on Billy. It was a high day break trade and Billy had a high day of 113.88. Volume at entry was 1 million shares and the ROVAL was 110%. So tradable, always nice to have more volume, but that's, that's enough for this time of day is all right. Uh, fairly typical high day break trade here, nothing special. Uh, Billy's been strong lately. On the daily chart, it's had, including this day and where it was right here, it had three strong green days in a row and uh, a price movement of, of $16 in total. So looking good lately. The one minute volume was building nice with three white steps. As always, I like to see more of these, but we have building one minute volume on white candles and that's always a good thing. Uh, the SPY had been trending up very nicely and then had started to consolidate a bit here, but I did get an entry on a white SPY candle, which is uh, something that adds to the probability of your trade working out. Took an entry at 113.86, like right on the break of 113.88. That's the only thing that's a bit unusual about this trade. I would normally wait for it to go to 114 and play it at that dollar level, see what the ask is and try to get the, the pop of the break of the ask. But uh, Billy was moving really slow and I thought I would just take it at the actual high of day and see if I can make that work out. I wanted my first 50% partial above 114.90 and uh, Billy kept moving. It, it, it broke nicely above 114. Took a little while to get close sort of close to 115 it took a big pause at 114.71 like an unusually long pause probably on the order of like six or seven seconds which is a long time for a bid to just sit at a specific price and uh that got me kind of nervous when i see that kind of price action that those long pauses they often mean that a pullback's going to happen so i took 50 percent off at exactly 114.71 while it was actually still paused the sale got as high as 114.85, which means given the spread on Billy, this 114.71 partial was about as high as I could get. And uh, I put my stop at 113.99 and got stopped out at 113.97. Unfortunately, it actually never came down to my actual entry. If I put my break even stop at actual break even, then um, I actually could have got up to 115. The worst trade today was on Futu. Futu had a high day of 140.18. This is another high day break trade. The volume at entry was 2.3 million shares. The ROVAL was 80%. I had taken Futu earlier on the break of 140.05, really played it on the break of 140. I never like when high days are above a dollar level. I really like it at it or below it. And this is one of those cases where it's five cents above. And, and on this trade, it, uh, it danced above 140, below, above, below. That kind of behavior I really don't like. It's usually a bad sign, and, and I got out of that trade after uh, four candles when it didn't work out. So after that, the price fell to 139.50, exactly at the half dollar level, and made a quick move back up toward the high of day. You'll often find that stocks that fail to break a dollar level will pull back to the half dollar level below it, and then make a run up again. And those can be good trades to get back into. So that's really what I tried here. So I didn't have stepped up white stairs in the one minute volume, kind of this messy. It's stepping up in volume, but certainly there, there's red candles going on here. And uh, the SPY was basically neutral for the trade. So it's, it's more or less going sideways. It's not helping, it's not hurting. Again, did enter on a white candle, not a particularly special one. Uh, got an entry at 140.15. The price, the price played around again, around 140 for, for about, uh, that's a typo. That should say two minutes, not three minutes. And then it, it just made a rapid pullback all the way down to uh, effectively a one hour loss, and which was bought back up <laughs> very quickly. It may have been saved by the SPY here, this, this SPY pop on that same candle. This, this pullback where I got out corresponds to the SPY candle here. And then the SPY took off nicely and Futu eventually, I guess, went with it. But it, it could have got up to above 141, but unfortunately stopped out for that big loss. So that's the best and worst for today. Thanks for listening, everyone, and have a great weekend. Thank you.